when the concept had finally come to me and I finally decided, hey, I'm gonna do this green pirate thing, I, I needed some equipment, you know, I have a video camera, but it's a VHS, and that's not gonna do for digital video. And I've seen people use iMovie, and it looks pretty nice. So, bought a Mac, okay? Well, that set me back, like, what, a couple thousand? Then, bought a video camera, but that was real cheap. Bought it from a friend, it was about 150. Then, you know, there was the costuming and a flag. Most of the costuming I already had. Maybe I spent $50 at most. That was really all I needed to get started. In the first several episodes, that's what we produced them with. Uh, very low, cheap budget. But, you know, in the first episode, it was like, whoa, lighting's bad. Okay. And the sound's kind of bad. Maybe I should just talk louder. So that's what I did. Talked louder, improved the lighting, and episode two looked better. Welcome to episode five of The Green Pirate, where we'll be talking about solid state lighting. Now, oh, 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 it didn't break. Episode five, really, I felt that I put everything I had learned about iMovie together and really made an excellent movie, excellent uh, episode. And it, it just came together well. And But the funny thing is that I was wearing the outfit backwards because, um, you know, I always put everything on in the mirror and the mirror shows the opposite of how it looks in the camera. And so it's like, I look at the video and to see how I, I'm dressed up. And then I'm like, oh, okay, the eye patch is on this side and, and the two things on this side and the earrings on this side. But no, it was absolutely backwards because um, it wasn't a mirror reflection. And I thought it was a mirror reflection and I was wrong. So after episode five, I created the drawing to uh, tell me, you know, left, right, and to tell me which side everything was on. And uh, yeah, I know it's a little silly drawing, but I've been using that ever since to, to get the costume right. And then, you know, further down the road, when I started interviewing people, the sound quality there was pretty bad, especially when I was outdoors. And then I'm like, ooh, and even inside the sound was pretty bad because the, uh, the video camera that I use has moving parts and the moving parts get picked up by the microphone. And that just was not acceptable. You'd always hear this whirring, and it was awful. And then they say, the video experts say, that people will forgive bad video, but they will not forgive bad audio. Uh, people expect bad audio. You know, good audio has been around since the very beginning uh, of radio days. You know, it was only later that video came along. Um, and even then, video was pretty bad. So then I'm like, okay, well, I don't have a lot of money, but maybe I can afford a lavalier. Um, I, uh, I saw people at the pod camp using them. And so I bought the lavalier. It cost me like $75. And then from there, uh, I said, ooh, I can't plug this directly into the video camera. Well, I can, but it doesn't work too well. I really need a digital recorder. So then I bought the Eddie Roll. Uh, digital recorder and from there uh, uh, the sound quality has really greatly improved at the same time I was kind of getting frustrated with iMovie you know I don't, iMovie only allows you certain things it's, it's, it's free software and it, it was pretty good software although I've got to say the the newest version of iMovie, which I didn't use and I didn't buy, uh, is horrible. It took away a lot of the functionality that was in iMovie HD. So, frustrated with iMovie, you know, I, I had pretty much gotten to the peak of what I could get out of iMovie. I, I had learned all the tricks and I really needed more. So, I started looking and finally I decided to get Final Cut Studio. iMovie HD is like riding a bike and then Final Cut Studio is like 
flying uh, space shuttle. Big difference. So I'm still working on figuring out, you know, the, what I can get out of it. And there's still more things I need to buy. I'm running out of hard drive space, gotta buy another drive. I need blue screen so that I can do some blue screen effects. And of course it has to be blue because I wear green, green pirate. Gotta wear, gotta be blue screen. And I'd like to do some soundproofing to the room. You know, it's basically just a bedroom that I'm using and other people in the house, noises, pick up. Maybe I'll get better lighting, business cards. I spent a lot of money already, but there's, there's still a lot more money to spend. Things you can do to help support the cause because, you know, this, this really is about personal difference, the, the personal difference that people can make. Uh, forget about the government. Think about what you can do to make a difference, what we can do to make a difference. And if you want to financially support the cause, you can buy some of the stuff that I've posted on Cafe Press, some of the green pirate merchandise, and buy this DVD. Buy the season one DVD, and when it comes out, buy the season two DVD. It should be a lot better. We'll be using, uh, the entire production will be using the better sound equipment, uh, the better video editing software. Tell your friends. Buy a bumper sticker, put it on your car. You don't want to spend money? Just tell people about it. You know, send, send a link around. Make one of those emails that's like, forward this to 50 people or you'll get the plague. Um, you know, send the link around. That, that's really gonna help. And just getting the word out. And if you're watching only on, if you watch on YouTube, rate the videos. If, if you rate the videos, videos that are rated get uh, higher hits and post comments. Those also draw more people to the videos. If you think it's a good video, post a comment. And you know, if you want to create a dialogue, post comments. Talk about what you think about the episode. Talk about disagreements you have. Talk about ideas you want to bring up. Uh, talk about what you'd like to see in future future episodes. Will it all get read? And uh, the, definitely the feedback is useful. Simon and I hope you've enjoyed the Green Buyer series thus far and really looking forward to the coming season and hope you stay tuned because it's going to be good. Mm -hmm.